I'm Gabe Polsky, and I directed the film Red Army. The film is about the Soviet Union and the greatest sports dynasty in history. The Soviet Union's national hockey team revolutionized sport. They took hockey and sport to a whole new creative level. When I was a young kid and I watched for the first time the Soviet Union play on a 1987 Canada Cup VHS tape, it was a religious experience. It was incredible what they did on the ice creatively. This was the best hockey ever played in history. In the series, you saw the greatest players from the Soviet Union face off against the greatest Canadian players. The Soviet style of play here is like a finely tuned symphony. The passing, weaving, improvisation. Krutov hits the puck out of the air to his teammate Makarov who has a breakaway. Improvisation and awareness. Here we see how they knew each other so well they could almost play blindfolded together. The passing is like an artistic tapestry. They transition fast and confuse defenders with their movement. Here we see incredible skill and creativity and a sense of one another. To Larry on up, now into Makarov, in behind copy, Makarov shoots, big save, pure rebound! This kind of hockey was incredibly fun to watch. Here we see how quickly they punish you for mistakes. All alone in front of the net, set up by Kurutov, and an early goal for the Soviets. This is one of my favorite plays, showing the skill level of the Soviet players. Beating Coffee. Now there's Lemieux getting beat by Spinorama. The Soviet game and style is all about puck possession and passing, we see here. Here's Makarov to Fatisov, shot, Fjord the save, rebound, Krutov scores! Krutov! Away, Here's Sergei Makarov, one of the greatest magicians in hockey history. Passes to Krutov, who then has an accurate shot. Here, tremendous skill, being able to shoot from any position. And this here, my friends, is pure art. It's the essence of hockey. With a brilliant goal, ties this game up with 104 left. Oh, what a goal.